For today's video, we are going to talk about how to compute for the mean of a discrete probability distribution and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say mean, that is the considered as the measure of central location of random variable. And the formula for the mean of probability distribution, that is x sub 1 multiplied by p of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 times p of x sub 2 plus x sub 3 multiply by p of x sub 3 up to x sub n multiply by p of x sub n or the summation of x multiply by p of x where x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 up to x sub n are the values of the random variable x and p of x sub 1, p of x sub 2, p of x sub 3 up to p of x sub n are the corresponding probabilities. And these are the things that you need to remember in order for us to compute for the mean of a discrete probability distribution. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, what is the mean outcome for a single die? To find the mean outcome for a single die, the first step that we are going to do is to identify all the possible outcome in a die. And there are six possible outcome in a die that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then, let us have the probability of getting 1 that is 1 over the total number of outcomes that is 6. The probability of getting 2 is also 1 over 6. The probability of getting 3 is 1 over 6. The probability of getting 4 is 1 over 6. The probability of getting 5, that is 1 over 6. And lastly, the probability of getting 6 is 1 over 6. And to compute for the mean outcome, let us have the mean of a discrete probability distribution, that is 1 multiplied by 1 over 6 plus 2 times 1 over 6 plus 3 times 1 over 6 plus 4 times 1 over 6 plus 5 multiplied by 1 over 6 plus 6 multiplied by 1 over 6. So let us have 1 times 1, that is 1 over 6 plus 2 multiplied by 1, that is 2 over 6 plus 3 multiplied by 1, is 3 over 6 plus 4 times 1 is 4 over 6 plus 5 times 1 is 5 over 6 plus 6 times 1 is 6 over 6. And to simplify, since we have the same denominator, let us have 6 on the denominator and let us have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, and that is 21 over 6. 21 divided by 6, that is 3.5. So that means the average number of spots that would appear is 3.5, and this will be our answer. On example number 2, suppose 3 coins are tossed. Let y be the random variable representing the number of tails. Find the mean of the probability distribution. To find the mean of the probability distribution, let us identify first all the possible outcomes. So as you can see, we have here the given table, the possible outcomes, and the random variable y, which is the number of tails. And to complete this one, let us use three diagram to determine all the possible outcomes. So on the first toss, that is head, and tail. On the second toss, we have head and tail. And on the last toss, we have head and tail. And let us use this one to determine all the possible outcomes. First, let us have head, head, head. And then let us have head, head, tail. And then, let's have 
head tail head and then head tail tail on this side we have tail head head and then tail head tail and then tail tail head and lastly we have tail 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 and to determine the value of the random variable y which is the number of tails all we have to do is to count the number of tail in each outcome in the sample space and assign a number on each outcome so first let us have head 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 that is zero because there is no tail in this outcome and then let us have one and then one two and then we have one two and then we have two and three therefore the random variable that is zero one two and three so let us use this one to complete the given table so this will be zero one two and three so the probability of getting zero that is one over the total number of outcomes that is eight and then the probability of getting one that is one two and three over eight and then we have two that is one two three and the probability of getting three that is one so this will be one over eight and to compute for the mean of discrete probability distribution let us have zero multiplied by one over eight plus one times three over eight plus two times three over eight plus three times one over eight so let us have zero times one that is zero and then one times three that is three over eight plus two times three that is six over eight plus three times one that is three over eight since we have the same denominator let us have 8 on the denominator and let us have 3 plus 6 plus 3 that is 12 over 8. 12 divided by 8 that is 1.5 and this will be the mean of probability distribution and this will be our answer. On example number 3, the probability that a customer will buy 1, 2, 3, four or five items in a grocery are three over ten one over ten one over ten two over ten and three over ten respectively what is the average number of items that a customer will buy so to determine the average number of items that a customer will buy let us write first the number of items that is one and then two three four and five and then let us have the probability that is 3 over 10 and then 1 over 10 and then we have 1 over 10 2 over 10 and 3 over 10 respectively and to find the average number of items that the customer will buy let us have the mean of a discrete probability distribution that is 1 multiply by the probability that is 3 over 10 plus 2 times 1 over 10 plus 3 multiply by 1 over 10 plus 4 times 2 over 10 plus 5 times 3 over 10. So let us have 1 multiplied by 3 is 3 over 10 plus 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 over 10 plus 3 times 1 is 3 over 10 and then 4 times 2 is 8 over 10 
plus 5 times 3 is 15 over 10. And let us simplify. Since we have the same denominator, let us have 10 on the denominator. And let us have 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 8 plus 15. And that is 31 over 10. 31 divided by 10, that is 3.1. So this will be the average number of items that a customer will buy. And this will be our answer.